Conemago Creek Initiative project began, it was immediately decided that monitoring would be important for determining the success of the initiative's efforts to improve the water quality of the Conemago Creek. Monitoring in the beginning of the project helped to develop a baseline from which the project could improve upon. By continuing the monitoring over the past five years and into the future, improvements became apparent. Determining the health of a stream is a complicated process that takes into account many different factors, like water chemistry, aquatic animal habitat, and physical characteristics. The Kahnawago Initiative does several different types of sampling in order to best capture all of this necessary data, and this video will show you how. The U.S. Geological Service installed two gauge stations on the Kahnawago Creek one near the mouth where it flows into the Susquehanna River and a second further upstream where it can measure headwater inputs. These gauge stations monitor turbidity, phosphorus concentrations, nitrogen concentrations, pH, conductivity, dissolved oxygen, temperature, alkalinity, and the concentrations of other chemicals on a monthly basis. Water height, however, is measured continuously and the data is available to the public on the USGS website. Similar measurements are also taken by the Dolphin County Conservation District at several locations spread out across the watershed. Most of the sample points are on tributaries to the Conewago, near where they enter into the main branch of the Conewago Creek. These samples help determine how each tributary is responding to practices being put into the ground and which areas of the watershed are in need of additional focus. Both the measurements taken at the gauge stations and on the tributaries help tell a story of how the water is responding to changes on the land surface. Nutrients and sediment are the leading causes of impairment on the Conewago Creek and are the sources of problems for the Chesapeake Bay further downstream. The water chemistry and physical characteristics are a simple way to determine if conditions are improving. Macroinvertebrates, or aquatic insects, are the basis of the food chain, and their populations can tell a lot about water and habitat quality. Certain bugs are more sensitive to pollution, so their abundance, or lack thereof, can give a hint to pollution levels and habitat conditions at that location. Additionally, different bugs eat different things and make homes out of various materials, which can tell us a lot about stream quality. If a sample is taken from the stream and caddis flies are present, this means that there are small stones or leaves present for them to build their homes, indicating a healthy stream bed. If worms are dominating the population, mud is most likely the only thing found at the bottom of the stream, indicating poor stream health. Elizabethtown College, DEP, and the Dolphin County Conservation District survey the Conewago Creek every three years for macroinvertebrates. Thirteen locations are sampled throughout the watershed following standard protocols that require kicking the stream bottom and capturing the bugs in a special net in several locations at each sample point. The bugs are identified and recorded based on the specific species found. An index of biological integrity, or IBI, score is given according to the diversity of the bugs captured. The higher the score, the healthier the bug population, and the more likely the stream is maintaining a good quality status. The most recent survey, completed in the spring of 2013, shows improvements in many of the IBI scores. This is a good sign for the Conewago Creek at present, but the sample in 2016 will tell whether there is indeed an improving trend that will show lasting results. Macroinvertebrate data can easily be skewed by natural occurrences such as climate, bug movement or migration, and bug life cycles. Fish populations are used as another method for evaluating stream health. Because certain species are very sensitive to water temperature, pollution levels, and the quality of the stream bottom, they serve as a good gauge of stream health. The Lancaster County Conservation District and the Susquehanna River Basin Commission work with the local watershed group and the Tri-County Conewago Creek Association to conduct electrofishing surveys every three years at three different locations in the watershed near the mouth, near the headwaters, and at one of the large restoration projects in the watershed, known as Hershey Meadows. Electroshocking sends an electric charge through the water that temporarily paralyzes the fish, causing them to float to the surface where they can be scooped up with nets and placed in tanks. The fish quickly recover in the tanks and can be identified by fish biologists. The identified species and diversity can be used to compare populations and to draw conclusions about the water quality and stream health. Like the macroinvertebrate sampling, it can take several years of fish sampling to develop a true trend. Still, seeing certain species like trout bass, particular minnows, and darters that increase in population is generally taken as a positive sign for stream improvement. A stream restoration project that was completed at the Hershey Meadows site has already yielded exciting results. The fish surveys completed in 2012 at this site have shown evidence of huge improvements, increases in fish diversity, population size, and an increased number of more sensitive species. 
With the help of the restoration project, there is less sediment on the stream bottom, less bank erosion, and more overhanging plant vegetation, all of which improve the fish habitat significantly. Because of the restoration project that took place at Hershey Meadows, these positive signs in the fish population are expected to continue in the future, making the site just one example of how we really can improve the Conewago Creek watershed and the Chesapeake Bay one stream at a time.